few minutes ago, we talked about an effort to replace the Maine state flag with an older version. Another symbol of Maine is being questioned too. A birder from the Audubon Society discovered that the original statute did not specify which chickadee is designated at the state as the state bird. Now, most of us think of the bird that's on our license plate, the black capped chickadee. But there are those who think the boreal chickadee should get the honor. Bill Green, very fond of chickadees himself, <laughs> is here to fill us in on the particulars. Yes, like W.C. Field. So, <laughs> now I wasn't even aware that there was a boreal chickadee, but the bird people tell uh, that's a chickadee visits Maine on a line from around Rangeley across through Bangor and includes Washington County and everything north. They say our fathers and foremothers were not specific when naming the Maine state bird. We all love the little black capped chickadee. You can see them at feeders all over the state. They make a familiar chickadee dee dee call. They stay here all winter, and they're even on our license plates. But while researching the Maine state statutes, Nick Lunda noticed that the law was not specific. It simply says the chickadee is the state bird. We're tough, and we have cold winters, and we have deep forests, and the boreal chickadee is all those things, too. It's more of a Canadian bird, don't you think? Nope, I think it's a Maine bird. And you could say the black capped chickadee is officially a Massachusetts bird. It's their official state bird already. Yes, many years after we adopted it, they adopted it. That's right, they, they stole it, copycatted us. And look, that's fine, but maybe we should think about our own. On our Facebook page, many people are saying maybe we shouldn't. We're just wasting time and money in the legislature. A bill has been submitted, and the Legislative Committee has considered the attributes of the two chickadees. Boreals live only in the northern half of Maine, are less likely to visit feeders, and have a more guttural call, which sounds like this. Nice Doug Hitchcock told me about cap. the black cap. Uh, the vocalizations are different. Uh, most people, especially this time of year in the spring, can hear their black cap chickadees um, doing that lovely uh, two-parted Phoebe song. Uh, or the, you know, more classic, um, you know, what we all think of as the, the chickadee dee dee. Of course, this opens the door. If not the black capped chickadee, how about the puffin or maybe an eagle? So this political battle pits the familiar and sitting champ against, well, all comers. And Maine Audubon does not have a position. We love all birds. It's like picking a kid for us, a favorite kid. We're not going to do it. Uh, we want people talking. We want people thinking about what bird represents Maine the most. So our lovely little year-round friend, the black-capped chickadee, might be going to roost, but polls indicate this little feathered fighter is indeed here to stay. And the legislature's still working that one out. I mean, they've got a lot of tough things going on up there. Now, when they say we didn't know which chickadee it was, I thought you meant like, was it Vinnie, Stan, <laughs> Chuck, <laughs> Margaret? Chuck yeah. the chickadee, yeah, yeah. The type, I guess, is what yeah. we're talking about. Okay. That was a very main story. I enjoyed it.